it is Brewfest, and I'm here on my dwarf, Rhett Pally, um, Beathus, who always ends up seem to, seeming to be the one who celebrates Brewfest every year. Um, there, a lot of the old stuff is back, but there's some new things, and I've tried out some of the new things with other characters. We're going to try to run Beathus through everything, because she can also do the stuff in Valdragon, yes. There are things in Valdragon. Um... Not much has changed. You have your sausage co eating contest. You got your mug tossing contest. These are this is, these are all you can get tokens for them. They're gold coins you get. There you go. Our friend Ipplecuffer Iron Keg is here, offering us two quests. Um, one is welcome to Brewfest. Be good. Yeah, you can get, your, uh, depending on your level, you can get one of three different uh, finales. Keep your feet on the ground. Um, I think there are different offerings in Ogomar, and uh, outside Ogomar. And Brufels and Drought Valjacket, which we'll investigate Safe after this. See you soon. Um, you can go to Black Rock Depths. Corn Dire Brew's still there. That's not what I wanted to open up. Corn Dire Brew is still in Black Rock Depths. And this will, you'll get a quest from him and you'll get, uh, well, money reward. But in here is usually some coins and then there's coins for turning it in. And I'm going to queue her up for that in a little bit, but not right now. But pretty much your, your vendors are here. There's achievements for eating. Um, and let's see. I want to take a good look at the uh, at the uh, rewards, the two new things. Um, there's a vendor now, Valdrakin. They offer the same stuff. Um, hey. Okay. So here's the two new items. Um, there's an orange Brewfest Bork, which is a shield, uh, and there is a brew barrel, which is a toy. So this is an appearance, so we can, it's Blizzard account bounce. If you have someone who doesn't use a shield, you can send it to them. Um, it's just an appearance. She can use a shield, so that's why she's going to be gathering all this. Also, she's a dwarf and it's Brewfest. And there's a toy, which uses a two toy box. Summon and ride a rolling barrel for 30 seconds. Uh, that is related to one of the new quests in Veldragon, which we'll do later. So, a couple of things happen. Every hour on the hour, some group invades um, Brewfest. It used to be the Dark Irons until they became allied. <laughs> Kuren Dire Brew is still, still bitter, but uh, so you still fight him. But it used to be the Dark Irons invading, but then they became allied, and now they have a stall here at Brewfest. <laughs> but now it could be Hosen, it can be. Um, elementals, I think. That's they're Pandar they're both Pandaren. I think there are some dark irons that still show up. But now it's a mix. And once you defeat them, a thing pops up like right around here. And it's a daily. So you could do it like once per character and you get like you get a nice little chunk of gold from it. And I'm waiting for it to show up so you can see what there's a little mini quest you have to do. Usually you could just stand around. I got to buy a leash on every character now. <laughs> anyway. So I'm waiting for that, and that should happen in about four minutes. But the big thing... And I'll, I'll tell you what our friend uh, Goldarker here is about in a second. Is... What's on your Twice a day, at 6.15 a.m. to 6.15 p.m. Blizzard time. So that's California time which is 9.15 in New York City. <laughs> and it's a.m. and p.m. There's a tapping of the keg. Do not ask why they tap a keg that early in the morning. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> um, and that actually gives you a two-hour buff. You can lose it with death, but it does stack with other buffs, including the winds of whatever, which is going to happen now around the anniversary. And you can pretty much quadruple up on experience. It's experience rep, uh, buff, I believe. Um, you can lose it during death, but 
I usually like to get a couple of characters get the two hour buff ones that I play only for little snippets at a time. Because I can usually get them up like an extra level or two without trying. Um, without doing much else. And I usually pick one or two characters during Brewfest to power level. So, or at least use Brewfest as a good means to level. Um, Beth, this is going to be that one this time. She seems to be that every year. And I think I'm going to try to get my other, my Horde Druid up as well. But we'll see. It might be more profitable for my uh, Troll Druid, who's a higher level, no, the same level, uh, to do the Dream Surge stuff, which is also gives you a bonus. But tapping of the keg, if you read it, it says 6.15 in the morning and 6.15 in the evening. Again, Blizzard time. What time is it yet? 8.58. <laughs> um, and the different activities are you could just, you could drink, you can eat, you know. Um, you get tokens, which allow you to buy souvenirs and different items like the toys. Um, Ram racing is it one of the, the dailies. You, could, you, you get it as a, like, you can get it, and once you do it once, you get it as a daily. You could do it every day. Um, and you basically race back and forth delivering kegs for coins. That's been part of this forever. Um, in fact, I probably still have her reins on something here. Oh no, I took them off. Huh. Alright. Brew of the Month Club is it's an achievement. You get a brew sent every month in the mail. Um, if you drink one every month, you get an achievement. Uh, which goes towards the meta achieve. Campground Chaos is what's going to happen in about one minute. <laughs> And Brewfest Chowdown is the sausage eating competition. So what's his face over here? Oh, I I don't even, oh I don't know what happened. Anyway, <laughs> what he offers what and why I'm in no rush you? to do it, even though you do get you know you do get tokens Watch for it, so I might do it. Is offer um, a pet. You do this and you get a pet. Or well, you get another pet. The other thing's a pet, too. Off with you. Or no. Actually, I forget what, that, what you get for it. You get 40 coins, which is nothing to sneeze at. And you have to travel to different Same areas scene. and put on goggles and find the pink elephants and zap them. Um, and just so you know, if... Giving thought to those who have given up alcohol or do not drink alcohol... Um, you can't, they are synth brew, so they give you the, all the beer and no the alcohol and gives you kind of the effect of being inebriated. It makes the screen blurry and you can't walk straight. <laughs> so, of course there are people that have a problem with that, but it's like, I think it's a nice option to have here, have all the drunk and take off your glasses and it's gone. So, in a moment, here we go, elementals, here's campground chaos. So, you have to actually throw beer at them. So you gotta find a table. And you will usually get a and just kinda aim yourself in the general direction. <laughs> there are enough people here. That like if you're gonna do this sort of thing. Um I would do it the first few days because once it winds down towards the end of Brewfest, nobody's doing it anymore. And then, like, you're like, aww. Especially if you try doing this early in the morning. <laughs> Around the time of the first tapping of the keg. But yeah. You could usually, you could usually will get it. Um, and you have to keep an eye out where some of them are. There's always one over there. There'll usually be a comment once you've been success once everyone's been successful. Oh, there's one up there. Um, but more important, there'll be a blue exclamation point that pops up around this area. There we go. There. We done containing the brew. 
And it's still delicious, no less. So. And you get 10 prize tokens. And I still got a brew. Alcohol-free Brewfest sampler. And you'll get another one. It, it'll work itself out. So, in about 10 minutes... Um, is going to be the tapping of the keg. I'm going to take a small risk and queue for Corin Dire Brew. Um, but if it gets too close to 9.15, then I'm going to drop out. Hopefully this will come fast, because it's a fast battle. Though, occasionally you do find yourself in a group where some folks don't know what you're doing and you die and you have to keep doing it it's like this is not a hard one folks <laughs> it's really easy but if they're like me though and I can't really feel bad and I can't really blame them I pull out tunes I never play during Brewfest so like I have no idea what rotation they be, she, should be using or what skills should be selected at all. Unless it's like a duplicate spec of what I already have. Perfect. So Corn Dire Broom. Good. That we should hopefully be done. So Black Rock Depths, here we come. And it's just right to the Grim Guzzler. Know what I there's three pallies in this group. We're good. <laughs> Not that I'm one of the good ones. I, I don't know what I was hitting. Sometimes folks pull in people from. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> oh, shoot. Here's one, one thing you have to remember is you have to click that or. I mean, you can get stunned anyway, but. Uh... I, I fully expect my DPS to be like at, at, at the bottom. I really do. So once you killed Corin Dyro and they they pulled some folks on the outside. Um, you get a quest. Well, you get a couple of things. You get a quest to turn in this at the at the uh, Dark Moon at the uh, at the festival uh, for forty, and that's pretty good. Um, you also get a couple of things like some more booze, Dark Eye and Residue, which is. Black Rock Depths standard. Um, some sausage. Smoked sausage. But you also should get... Here we go. Um, well, this is for the quest. Dire Brews. Dire Brews. Dire Brew. And this is Cake Shaped Treasure Chest. You can get this once a day. And in here could be a mount. It could be a few things. But it could be a mount. It could be the Dire Brew remote, which takes you to Dire Brew to this area. If you want to travel here for some reason. Um... You get, again, some random booze. And you get a random amount of Brewfest prize tokens. So, already when I turn this in, I'm going to have 52. Which is more than one quarter of what I need for at least one of the toys. So, I'm going to leave the party now. Because, a little bit, we're going to have the uh, tapping of the keg. So, yeah. So, that's one thing you can do. Well, first, let me turn this in. Well met. Safe travels. Keep your feet on the ground. See you soon. And I would say there's some dailies that are annoying, but there's some dailies that aren't too bad. The ones in Veldraken could, uh, are better than the the ones here. Like the, but 
but you can repeat stuff. It's pretty easy to get the tokens, and you're you know you're getting experience. And if you do park them here for the reason why I'm parking her here for the tapping in the cake, an experience bonus. So it's worth the investment if you have time. Um, I want that. No. No, <laughs> is that? That's mod, more adapted with Torah. Is that like a Shadowlands one? I mean, I want it that badly. <laughs> so the corn dire brew and the um, the chaos thing, which by the way you have to turn in to get your coins from. Five. Enough of that. So now I already have from doing what I've done, sixty-two coins, tokens. I am going to sell some of this stuff. Well, I'm going to give her the Tobias leash because you can only have one Tobias because there is only one Tobias. But every character has it now. <laughs> I can't sell that. I'm not going to need it until the next event, so... Uh, sell some sausage. I have plenty of dark iron residue. Um, I was doing pet battles with her, so that's why it's the last thing she has is a bunch of pet stuff. This is the next, next drama stuff, or the, no, 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 that's the strap stuff. I figured she could turn them in. She's a paladin. If she doesn't have the, I think she has the rep already, though. We'll see. All right. Six minutes. I'll just other do around here in six minutes. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to do the. See, they're, they're sausages. See, they're eating sausages. Um, oh, I can do this. This is easy. So, talk to Boxy Bolt Spinner. And basically what you do is you stand here, you pick up some booze, and you fling it, and you don't even have to aim. It's really just, it literally is like, you do this five times. Sometimes it does miss, yes, but usually you don't even have to move or try to aim. It's... It's you. Off and away. There you go. Some experience. Did I get coins for that? I don't even know if I got... Yeah, I got ten. And you can... I mean, that's not repeatable, but... She, she does... She's done it every year. So it's repeatable every year, but not every day. If they're blue, they are. Um, this is the Ram Racing Master. So it starts off new again, apparently, this year. I think whenever they, re they add something new to uh, the holidays, it resets. Because it was usually before when I've done it at least once. Even the next year it shows up as a... Oh, well, anyway, there's not enough time to do that, so I'm not going to. Or there's not enough time to put the effort in. Um... Oh, uh, I could do the sausage. Someone else's, though. I believe the tapping of the keg should be soon. What is this thing that keeps haunting me? A curse. Something is with you. Okay, what? I know it's something in my body because it keeps showing up on her. Listen to the dialogue of the uh, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, her gear is shit. Look, she, look at what she's wearing. That's from the last Brewfest. <laughs> also, no, no, that's something else. That's, I forget what she, that's also from Brewfest. Her two trinkets are from Brewfest. The last one, possibly before that last one. Um, what is the thing that's causing her to be haunted? I don't know. There's something that periodically triggers something. I don't know. It's something. It's not her... Yeah, no, no, no. I'll have to look it up at some point. But every once in a while, it'll show up. You get a well-fed buff from drinking. <laughs> Beer is filling, not gonna lie. And of course, if you don't know what Brewfest is referring to, be kind to those um, Oktoberfest. I don't know. You may not be in an area that knows what Oktoberfest is. What's on your mind? Get some pretzels. Problem is, every time my sweet potato bread, I'd like to try that. Buttery wheat roll. Even that sounds good. Cornmeal biscuit, fry bread. Safe travel. Nine fourteen. Here we go. There we go. I've been missing the whole thing. It's a, the countdown, so I can tap the keg. Here we go. Here's the keg countdown. I've got to read it. I apologize. Here we go. Two. One. Take a step. See? Sorry, I forgot to read the whole speech. Um, let's see. Need another pretzel. Ipfil Coffer. Iron King says, right. Let's get this so-called dark... Oh, no, no, no. That's what he's... That's He's the one who's drinking this stuff over there. It's Marleth Barley Brew says, Thank you all for joining us. Brewfest is my favorite time of year. And it's an honor to lead you for the ceremonial tapping of the keg. Magnar Thunderbrew says, Yes, ever since my father, Grimbu Thunderbrew, founded this festival. Because my family has been honored to lead the celebration of our favorite thing in the world, brew. Um, so often we love the accomplishments... What was that? So often we uh, uh, accomplishments of our heroes who protect us from those who wish to hurt us. It's mixed in with what the guy's saying about Dire Brew. <laughs> but Brewfest is, is time to celebrate our crafters, our everyday heroes who make us great food and drink to drink and enjoy. So that we can tap the keg, and then they count down the hit the keg. So, um, so yeah, and of course, uh, Horde gets something different. Now, in years past, there's been different people tapping the keg. Um, I it used to be, uh, uh, I think Mechatork was doing the tapping some of the time. Um, I'll have to look back. I'm pretty much pretty much sure it's Etrig did it one year. Uh, on the orc side, and he and I think it was Etrig. Um, it was so like I can't believe I have to do this because we literally can't don't have a war chief that can do this <laughs> year. <laughs> Not that it was, like the war chief or like uh, a leader that could do this, but anyway, I'll have to look that up. I I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. It's either Etrig or it's Saurfang, <laughs> but I want to think it's Etrig. <laughs> We'll see. Anyway. Well, we're going next. Because I don't want to use up all my two-hour buff. Which, by the way... 
increases experience earned by 10%. So that's all experience. Um, Kelly Monsters handing in quests. So we're doing next, while we have our two-hour buff, is we're going to Valdraken. One thing that's new is right here. Um, and you'll notice there's a little keg on the bar. There's nobody else in the bar because they haven't loaded in yet because it's Valdraken and it, the lag is terrible. But you'll notice there's a little keg on the bar. If you read it, donate to taverns across the Dragon Isles to cover the tab. So across the Dragon Isles, if you go into taverns, you can basically click on this and get uh, Brewfest prize tokens. I don't know how that works, that you're getting tokens from not actually giving anything, but hey. Um, I don't think this is repeatable every day, but it's very similar to the bonfires during Midsummer or the, um, the buckets during Hollow's End, which I'm assuming are, are still going to be there in a few weeks when Halloween comes around. Um, but yeah, so in taverns, uh, it's trying to remember what's a tavern because it's not all inns. It's not every inn. It's taverns. There has to be, they have to be serving booze. Or, as you'll just see in Elgathar Academy, I'll fly up there, um, coffee. I don't know which all of them are now. I'm pretty sure the the same apps that help you find the the buckets and the um, the bonfires will have this in here shortly if they don't already. So we need to find our friend here, who's the Brewfest in Valdraken. So let's go find them. I need to change. She's got such a boring uh, flying mount. So. so they're over here by where you see the leather workers and the bar right outside the barbershop. So you go over here and you speak to Bragder Battlebrew. Great to meet you. Watch your back. Did you come for the brew? Ha, we got plenty. See you soon. So he's got the same items as the vendors near the respective cities. Um it has got this and all these other items. Again, there's plenty of achievements tied to this. I, I will include uh, a link, I'm assuming, I think WoW has probably updated it um, for this year. So I will include a link to that in this dream later on. Also, there are um, heirloom thingies. So you can, if you really have nothing else to use tokens on. Uh, but with two new toys, it's probably all very unlikely. <laughs> So we are going to do the two quests he's got. The first Bye. one he's got is Bubbling Brews, which is... Safe travels. Drat. I might have made a mistake asking the drag dealer to help with these others. They've been rolling bar barrels of brews to the city and crashing them all over the place. Well, we shouldn't let the brew go to waste if we can help it. Take a barrel, take a barrel and take to the skies and collect and save as much of the brew as you can by collecting the bubbles. Collects brew bubbles in Valdraken. So this is a dragon riding see see. Um, one. And barreling down Watch your back. is, if it's L you'd be looking for, we've got plenty to sample. Or at least we would if the Valdraken folk would hurry up and bring the rest of the barrels down here. We've shipped our Brewfest brew brews here so they could celebrate. And wouldn't you know it, they've already started their own traditions. Rolling barrels through the city. That's no way to treat a good brew. Mind lending a hand to bring those barrels down here? I try not to break them. Deliver barrels to the Artisan's Market and Valdraken. So, and All from three. doing both of these, and they seem like they're dailies and repeatable, you can get 20 tokens a day. Just not even leaving Valdraken. Um, so if you want to do the bare minimum for the three weeks that Brewfest is on, there you go. Um, now this one is dragon riding, and there's tons of lag, and it's Valdraken, so... We will do our best. But, you know, there's no time limit on this. And there's bubbles all over the place. They're pretty easy. Though I've popped none yet. I did this once already today. And I, why am I not, I'm not popping any bubbles? There we go. They go pop. Um, it's, it's very silly. 
Um, but... And you can see, you know, there's a bar that fills up. My goal is to do all of them without landing. And I did do it earlier. So it's fairly easy. It's easier without lag. But as long as I'm streaming, I'm going to have lap. For a little while longer, um, I did get my new laptop today. So hopefully very soon. Oh no. Um, things will improve graphically. <laughs> Though, honestly, Valdrakin being as busy as it, is, as it is, I'm not sure if there's enough, there's a machine powerful enough to uh, deal with that. I still haven't landed. I just want to point that out. I'm almost there. All right, I need one more bubble. You're my bubble. Yep, I got it. All right. So we hand that in. Great to meet you. Got your tank and ready, Bathus. See you soon. Thinking, thinking, thank you kindly for the help. And if I can guess, convene, convince the Dracula to simply fly the batteries here instead of rolling them. Listen. Watch your back. They've had it rough. I apparently have earned 300 Brewfest tokens, but that's on different characters. <laughs> so, it doesn't help me because they're so bound. But, uh, as you can see, you're, you can get Trader's Tendies. So now we need to roll some barrels. Which should be easier than flying. She says having still yet to get there. The location to pick up the barrel is... The Ruby Enclave by the restaurant. Which you haven't been to yet. You do this enough times you'll remember where it is. So it's by the restaurant. The Ruby Feast. Um, if you did Secrets of Azeroth, you've been here. If you've been, if you've done, let's see, more here. Um, if you've done, um, the Dwellbling Tending, you've been here. So you just hop on the barrel and you'll see there's a, those little green, well there, there, I just, I did that on purpose. I demonstrated the green speeds you up, but you'll see these little smoky, broken barrels on the floor. They take away your brew. Now, the more that you can get to where you need to the location, to the back to your friend. Um, oh, it's bad with the speed, with lag. Um, the fewer trips you have to make. When I did this the first time, I, I kept crashing into stuff. And I got like maybe 25%. The second time I didn't crash. Um, and that's, I only had to do it twice. So. And you roll it basically up here next to the rest of them. And the little thing goes off. So I got 70. So I have to do at least one more barrel. But honestly, it was fun. Um, it reminded me of if you've done Storm Stout Brewery, you've done that dungeon, that dungeon during time walking or while doing Miss of Pandaria. Um, you'll you'll remember there's a boss fight where you can do damage to the boss by riding a barrel into him. He's a big giant hose. All right, lag is bad. My goal is I want to try to get Vathis up to... I want, I would ideally like to somehow get her up to 70 at the end of Brewfest. We'll see how it goes. Between the core and dire brews every day and whatever Dale is she can do. I'm like staring at him like, I don't know. What do I do, man? And as far as I can tell, you can't crash into anything else. This is broken barrels, so...
There might be a faster way to go, I don't know. But... When I was, uh... I'm doing the feat of strength for the forge. Whoa. I, um... I didn't spill any. I, uh... There was a very specific... <laughs> Sometimes you don't have to roll all the way onto the grass. There was a very specific route that I was going to carry the big things and big energy things. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. Um, you'd probably rather not know about the feet of strength. Uh, but it was the forge. It's not here. But there were different levels of energy you had to carry to it, and the big ones were way up by where I picked up the barrel to come down here. So, and you had to try to run around and avoid things there as well. So, I, I remembered that route. What can I do for you? Because I did that a lot. Um, barreling down. Safe travels. So ten more. Off with you. So, without doing everything, I have 102 tokens. Um, so I'm pretty sure, like, I'm gonna actually leave her here because she's got her two-hour buff on, which is fine. She's got her two-hour buff on, and uh, not gonna have her do any of the other quests tonight. But she has a two-hour buff on, and. Um, Hopefully tomorrow I can get her to do the, uh... These will pop again, so she can do these as dailies. Um, and then cure in for core and dire brew, and she could just do that part. <laughs> and run her back to do the, the other, the thing that happens every hour on the hour. Um, and get that. So, let's actually show you, I'll show you... The Veldraken part is not different for um, Horde. So let's get a Hordy over there. Let's get a level. Let's get a Hordy that's that needs to be uh, raised. Um. Actually, I was thinking of getting Melangia um, and bringing her in as my horse. I have, I have a regular troll druid. Has been druid on that side for since you could make a troll druid, uh, which I believe was Kata. So she, I made her with Kata. But the. Um, the druid options for Zandalari troll, though, are just too good. I mean, look. This is the flying travel. That's the flying travel now. To Brewfest. Yes, yes, that is where I'm going. So, in any city, there are your holiday enthusiasts, troll commoner. Talk to me. Who will send you, but it, it, you don't need to pick it up. All they do is send you to, uh, it's a goblin on this end, not a, not a dwarf. Um, the one who stands by the gate, I forget his name, in, uh, on either side actually. So here, just so you see, the sausage eating competition and the ram racing is a little further outside from the rest of the um, the festival. Now at 9.36... Well, so his... Okay, actually, wait. Are you a dwarf? You're a dwarf? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I was going to say, no, it is, it is an orc. It is an orc. Uh, Lagar Bruchout. Lagar orc, actually. Um, it used to be a goblin that was here before. Uh, I forget their name, but since then, Lagar took, kind of took over a lot of this, which is great. 
uh, from Kar, and welcome to Brewfest. There's much to enjoy here while we celebrate the joining of Azerothian and Drainic Blue Brew culture. I can answer any questions you have about the festival. Die well. We'll just you get the, you get the strongest. There is so much junk. Carrying Brewfest appearances in the bag, like I said, and and Wintervale, yeah, I, I <laughs> Brewfest and Veldraken. Well, I've already done this one, so Brewfest and Veldraken. There's really nothing else that's different. Seems to drag there have decided to host their own Brewfest festivities this year. Once you've finished celebrating here, you should venture to Dragon Isles and see what they've got put together. Speak to Bragdor Battle Brew and Veldraken on the Dragon Isles. Go for. Claim victory. I mean, come on, I'm a raptor. This is your other, your other, uh, this is a travel. If you're on the ground, you're that, when you have, well, uh, anyway, anyway. <laughs> you got wings or you don't. That's what it is. So, you're pretty much hearing goblins shrieking as opposed to hearing dwarves shrieking. Oh, I know what mount you're on. Alright. Um, that's... That's the one. Which one is that? That is the... Male Muncher. That's the one I keep trying to get in Horrific Visions of Ogremar. And, and Stormwind. I go to both of them. It's, that's the mount you get. That's the one you get. This mount right here. Uh, one day I will be riding on one. It's basically like a giant tentacle worm. It uses the cloud serpent model. But it's the principle of the thing. It's like the only thing I don't have from there. So, I, I, when there's time. When there's time. But right now... So nothing else is different here, just different vendors, of course. Um, outhouses, lots of drunk patient, patrons. Um, prizes are the same. I always like like this guy just hanging on the ball, hanging on the thing here, like just hanging and chilling out. I don't even think the dialogue they use is different. Is the dialogue exactly the same? Um, that, that's, I guess this is the Frost Wolves. Strength and honor. Sylvie. And, you know, from Legion, the Nightborn showed up to sell wine. Night wine. Box, boxed night wine. Boxed night wine. Night wine cooler, sparkling Suramar spritz. It's actually Vinter Mulu. I think she is the one in Suramar. But I don't know, I'm not getting her uh her voice. It's not pop I mean she has a very distinctive voice. Um Drones is Drones has been here from the. They were one of the first two stalls. It was drones. It was the trolls and the ogres. The ogres. <laughs> the ogres always had a stall at Brewfest. <laughs> anyway, it's a good time. Um, again, most people kind of like get what they need and move on Got fairly some quickly. Oh, she's Anzalari. You go and be back for these goods. Ish. You know, she may want to you you find Zandalari. A Zandalari drink. Kombucha, I am. She doesn't drink. A use an alcoholic beverage. Swarming with life. Sword sipper. Really, really, really old fashioned. 
<laughs> a Tortolan favorite. <laughs> Goes in as smooth as a sword scale. Vulpira made desert hooch. Stored in a dried gourd, deliciously brewed during desert travel. A typical alcoholic beverage, a money mule. An alcoholic beverage swarming with life. It may be alive. Um, let's try really, really old fashioned. Really, really, really old fashioned. Excuse me. Come on back with more. That's coin now. It's an odd way to drink, but hey. So yeah, I mean, that's Brewfest. <laughs> um, a couple more things to do this year. Uh, some easy experience, a couple of new toys. Break up the monotony of anything else you're doing. I'll have her do this. Why not? I need money, friend. Keep it real. And because uh, you can do that, she can do this too. That's her raptor. <laughs> this is why I want I want to get my Zendalari troll up next because you can be a raptor. <laughs> Oh, in case you were curious. Oh, I, I did. I don't have to do this anymore. I'm just doing it for fun. Um, Talk to me. Hurry back. If you don't have a Zendalari uh, druid, I'll show you what, what you can do. So this is your travel. I mean, honestly, that's your travel. But if you go in air with no air with no flying, you'll turn into the raptor. I mean, but it's not limited to that. Your bear form. Look at that. Your cat form. You already saw your travel form. Your moon can form. Enemy and tree form and mount form. There's your mount form. But you are the mount. But it's also the form that, you know, the uh, non-flying. Um, tree and that's just, it, that's a glyph, so. That's a, it lets you have a tree, a tree form. Tree form is no different than uh, regular. And then, no form Zandalari. She's got the heritage armor on. But yeah, this is why I want to kind of bring her up because she's at, at the forms are just too cool not to. Will I put much time in her for Brewfest? I don't know yet. It's 9.45. Um, I'm probably just going to call it here. Just wanted to show, I'm so jealous someone's got the mail launcher, but I'm, I'm going to try not to look at that. But yeah, it's Brewfest.